Fans have made it clear time after time that when they tune into sports, when they go to a game, when they go to a match, when they go to a sporting event, they're there to watch sports. They're not there to be preached to about some sort of politically charged issue. And over and over again, both for players and fans, we see them push back against this. And the NHL decided to take a big stand after they got a ton of blowback over their Pride Night jerseys. Not just because fans were tired of being virtue signaled towards, tired of being preached to, but because players didn't want to be forced to put something on their chest, wear something on their back that didn't align with their lifestyle. A lot of them were deciding to opt out of Pride Night and as a result, be attacked by the woke mob because if you don't wear this rainbow, it must mean you hate gay people. And if you're a bigot, then you shouldn't be allowed to play in the NHL. All of this bullshit. Ivan Provorov, one of the first guys we saw take a stand, by the way, uh, shout out to Ivan Provorov, just for the record. But what we saw the NHL do is decide to just get rid of Pride Night. Hey, if we've got players that are doing this, if we've got teams that are canceling this stuff, really, we're just not going to do these Pride Night jerseys. We'll sell them to fans if they want them, but we're not going to force our players to wear this. Well, now they've taken it one step further. NHL bans players' use of pride tape after already eliminating themed warm-up jerseys. And in my opinion, it's basically the same thing. They don't want players to be forced into doing something or to feel like if they don't do this, they'll get destroyed by the woke outrage mob. The NHL has now taken the most aggressive stance against political messaging on the ice. And personally, I don't have a problem with it because I don't think that anyone should be pushing some sort of issue, whether it's about identity politics, whether it's about an actual political stance, I don't think that somebody should be out there with, I don't know, make America great again tape on their stick because there's just no reason for it. You're just playing a sport. Focus on the sport. Focus on your team. All this shit. You don't need to make political statements constantly all the time, but there are a lot of fucking people who are outraged by this. And the old phrase, don't say gay, is being brought back by the media. Look at this. Pop culture fix. NHL bans Pride Night tape from its sticks. Creates its own ice cold, don't say gay policy. Same thing here. The NHL has banned Pride tape. Created its own, don't say gay policy. Now, this is from OutSports. I wonder if they're going to have an agenda at play. Uh, what's their most read article? Oh, meet the 16 out gay and bi football players in the NFL's 104-year history. Oh, weird. NHL's banned pride tape and pride jerseys in addition to issuing a disaster memo regarding LGBTQ initiatives. Hockey is not for everyone. The NHL's decree that players and teams are no longer allowed to wear rainbow-colored pride jerseys to celebrate the gay community was bad enough. Now comes word that the league front office has sent all 32 teams a series of memos that include alleged clarification on this policy. On top of this, and most egregious of all, OutSports has learned that NHL's issued a league-wide ban of pride tape on the ice with the players during warm-ups, games, and even practices. A league spokesperson has confirmed this change in policy with OutSports. This isn't that big of a deal because, to me, when you look across a lot of other sports, there are very specific things for what you're allowed to wear. This is, as far as OutSports is aware, the most stifling anti-LGBTQ policy any pro sports league in North America has ever issued. The reason that this is happening is because there's a backlash from fans and players. Players don't want to feel like they're going to be attacked because they don't support some cause. And a lot of them have religious problems with outwardly supporting something like that because it's just not something they agree with. Not that they hate gay people. Not that they don't think they deserve rights or any of this bullshit. Just they don't want to wear something that says, I approve of your lifestyle on their chest. We've seen that over and over again. That's why these NHL teams themselves decided to cancel their own Pride Nights and Pride Initiatives because they didn't want players to feel like they were going to be attacked as a bigot or something. Let's get back to entertainment. Let's get back to sports. No political fucking messaging. Uh, no divisive shit like that. Just sports. That's what people are tuning in for. That's why hockey fans are at the game. That's why they're watching on television. They're there to watch hockey. Not to see you preach about what lifestyle you do or do not approve of. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. NHL doubling down on stopping all the pride initiatives in the NHL. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.